necessarily definitive or finally reliable, particularly where issues of this kind are concerned. And I was uh, really uh, remiss because I thought they were going to include opposition scholars in the in the group that uh, were running the testing. Instead, they, they they included only the people who supported the Iranian hypothesis in the group that did the testing. So to my mind, that uh, you know, uh, rules them out as uh, final arbiters in any case. Anyway, I cover that. So that, you say, how do they get their dates? From things like that. Mostly paleography, uh, handwriting uh, sequences that they claim to be able to uh, date, which are, they have no external control over any of the handwriting sequences. Anyway, leave that, and there's no dated document that come on, except one that I mentioned in my book, and uh, you can look at the book if you're interested in that issue. Okay, so uh, then Herod did die. We had inflammation of the abdomen, mortification of the genitals, bruising worms, difficulty breathing. The diviner said he had many diseases were a punishment for what he had done to the, to the rabbis, to the teachers who had done that. Uh, uh, who, who had preached this, and, and we know what happened to Archelaus a, a, afterwards. By the time he arrived in Jericho, after taking the hot baths down by the Dead Sea, uh, he was, in, uh, he, he was in, in virtual madness, a virtual challenge to death itself, which produced a monstrous outrage. He brought together the most eminent men of every village in the whole of Judea, here, here, here is that point, and had them locked up in the Hippodrome. Then he sent for his sister Salome, another woman called Salome, and her husband Alexis, and said, I know the Jews will greet my dead with death with wild rejoicings. So uh, Herod and the Herodians are not uh, popular rulers. But I can be mourned on other people's account, so make sure of a magnificent funeral. <coughs> if you do as I tell you, these men under guard, as soon as I die, kill them all. This is a Saddam Hussein insanity. Let loose the soldiers among them, then all Judea and every family will weep for me, and they won't be able to help it. While he was giving these orders, a dispatch arrived from his ambassadors in Rome to notify him of Caesar's command, etc., 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 etc. So, the point being here, Herod does have the Jewish notables arrested from every village around that he can round up and instructs them to be killed, but not because of the birth of Christ. So he's capable of such things. And do his successors do this? No, of course they don't do this. They know if they do that, the people will go absolutely insane. Is this a true story, or is this um, it's just a scurrilous story about Herod? I don't know. Anyway, that's what we are going to do last time. I'm done with my sources now for you, the background sources. Let's get back to our Gospels. Thank God. Let us see if we can figure out what we're doing here in the Gospels. Okay, so now we're at the um, Matthew 3, Mark... Um, Mark 1, Luke 3. Uh, well, I'm going to go back to Luke's uh, infancy narratives uh, momentarily. In these days came John the Baptist preaching in the wilderness in Judea, saying, Repent. I am the voice of one crying in the wilderness, make you ready for the Lord. Uh, John was uh, dressed in a raiment of camel's hair and leather girdle, and uh, his food were locusts and wild honey. And the people went out and were baptized uh, by him in the river Jordan. That's the Matthew approach. Uh, Mark, this is the gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Right away it announces its theological position. And even as written by Isaiah the prophet. So um, it puts the prophecy before uh, the coming of Mark. So, uh, of John. So, in any case, all are applying that prophecy to John's coming. Uh, he preached baptism of repentance unto remission of sins. Well, you see, Josephus says John did not teach baptism unto remission of sins. Am I losing you? Can you find it in that? Yeah, no, I don't know where. Yeah, where are Mark? One, four. I just read Matthew. It should be in parallel in your in your book. Okay, see. All right, you guys following me? Everyone should have a harmony. If you don't, you're just gonna your head is gonna spin. That's fair enough. If you don't want to invest the money, that's your affair. I can't 
I tell my kid to get a job and they won't get a job. I say, well, I don't know. Your blood is on your own head. I'm free of it. I told you what you ought to do. <laughs> I can't be responsible any further. You're crazy not to get benefits and things like that because later on in life you'll be you'll be uh, you'll be sorry about that. But there you are. Uh oh, they're gonna see it. Oh. I sorry guys, you know, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm trying to be, uh, Luke also has uh, preaching baptism of repentance unto remission of sins. You see, Matthew doesn't have that, I don't think. So you see, sometimes one gospel agrees with the other gospel, sometimes the gospel ag agrees with the third gospel. And it's this, uh, uh, this uh, agreement between them becomes dizzying. It's uh, tremendously difficult to figure out the relationship of the gospel. Scholars tried to do it and they've sort of come out with uh, Q is the extra material, Mark is the shortest gospel, and Matthew and uh, Luke have extra material beyond Mark. And uh, I think Q is the extra material, uh, mostly in Luke, but some in Matthew beyond Mark. They call it squellen, Q for source. I'm not here in a uh, you know gospel uh, criticism uh, situation. I'm in a historical Jesus situation here, so I'm looking for historical data, and not so much for the relationship of the gospels. People who are interested in the relationship of the gospels will worry about those theories. I don't think you can separate them out as neatly as that, because as you can see, you'll see the interrelationships of the gospels, even John, much more complex than that, and um, I think these are layered documents that developed over a certain amount of time and therefore the relationship of each to the other becomes complicated. But if you want to keep track of it, here Mark and Matthew agree. Uh, Mark and Luke agree, but you see Luke agrees uh, with the way Matthew begins. But this thing about baptism under, under remittance of sins is in Luke and Mark. Now that is not in Josephus because Josephus said, says, uh, John uh, called for uh, remission of sins, provided the soul was previously cleansed by righteousness and the body by immersion in water. Baptism was not for remission of sins. It was for cleansing of the body from impurity. So the people writing this again, to my mind, have a superficial understanding of the situation. These are fine points. I mean, if you were living in communist China, or you were here trying to appreciate the fine points of the way things go on in China today, 